discipline. That brings me to my next point. Discipline is God's training for holiness. That's number two. Discipline is God's training for holiness. Some of us have decided to worship God from a distance because we're mad at God. I got to stop for a minute. Y'all, how many, can y'all be honest? When some things didn't go your way and God took some people you love, you went through a season where you were slick mad at God. Now, you might not have even said anything, but it showed up in your worship. You, 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 didn't, you didn't feel like going to church like you used to. You didn't, you didn't feel like praying or giving or serving like you used to because I'm slick mad at you, God. Why did you take my friend? Why did you take my mother? Why did you allow me to go through cancer? Why did you do this? And so some of us, we're like David. When it happened to David, David said, take the ark away. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that if he done that to Uzzah, who was just trying to do some good, what's he going to do to me who's prone to do something bad? Can I say that again? So how many of y'all know you got still some bad tendencies? You still working on you. And so sometimes, good God Almighty, help me preach this guy. Sometimes some of y'all don't even want to pray because you're too, ago, you're too ashamed to be in God's presence. Yeah, I did it again. I'm drunk again. I, I messed up again. So I ain't even going to pray because I know what time it is, and I don't want to be in the presence of a holy God. So take that ark somewhere else and park it. And some of us have parked our faith at somebody else's house. You're dependent on your mom and your daddy to pray for you while you're still wilding out. You're hoping that the grace from your grandmama can get you through this season where you ain't been coming to church, you ain't been praying, you ain't been serving because something happened. You tripped up at the threshing floor, you dropped it, somebody died, you got mad at God, and you're like, I don't want to have anything. I've got church hurt right now. I'm not. Take the ark somewhere else. But what you don't know is, is that just because you don't want to have anything to do with God does not mean that God's going to stop blessing other people.